Roy to you boys. I know I've read the chapter already in its rawest form being Japanese and I've seen the pages of course I know but one of the many things I've talked about in many of the videos that I've talked about this chapter I need the context and this is going to be my live reaction to the Bleach chapter having all the context reading it through seeing my first impressions of it and uh, I know that there's a lot of lore to understand so I'm very excited to talk about this chapter and uh, I think you guys just want to see me uh, react to this. So th th there might be some discussions here and there. So um, yeah, I hope you enjoy it. I hope you enjoy this live reaction and give it a thumbs up. Give me a subscribe. It really helps me out. And uh, let's try and get to 100k before the anime comes out next year. That would be really cool. Or even before John Fessa, that'd be really cool. The color page, the second coming of a legend. Look at all the captains. Bleach began its serialization in issues 36 and 37, iconic, because that's the magazine that came out, it's 36 and 37, and carved itself as a legend, straight spitting, spitting the Factorunians. To celebrate its 20th anniversary, a new chapter has been unleashed to the world. Let's go! Commemoration of the 20th anniversary of Bleach, an enormous center color page of the one shot and uh, consisting of 23 pages. You love to see, you love to see, look at that. You got Mayuri in the back, which I'm pretty sure everyone would have loved to have seen him up close, but so fun at the back as well. This is a very interesting cityscape and hopefully I'll get to see the context because there was a bit of a city as well within the Soul Society and I imagine that this is uh, the, the Rikunga, yeah, outside of the, the Soul Society walls. Um, which has progressed seemingly economically. So that's very interesting. Rose, again, Kampachi, I wish he had a bigger shot. Toshiro fan favorite, Renji, Ichigo, as it should be, Shunsui at the front. Kensei, Byakia, Shinji. There was no love for Isana. People were like, who's that? It's Isana. Show Isana some love. And, of course, Lisa with the midriff. I don't know, she's, 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 she's kind of. Anyway, enough simple and Eva, sorry, I almost forgot Eva with the pompadour. Um, but yeah, ooh, I'm delaying myself from reading this. I'm excited. Okay, let's go. When I was little, I owned two goldfish. This is Kazu speaking. When I was little, I owned two goldfish. They were cute and I loved them a lot, but at some point the larger one died. The remaining goldfish seemed lonely, and so I did while observing it. From that day, the little goldfish I had thought had stopped growing began to grow bigger and bigger and continued to become healthier. Seeing that made me really relieved, and I am glad. It was a good thing that larger one died. I don't know why he would say that. I don't know what the poetry is supposed to be here, but why would you be happy about the larger goldfish dying when the little one was still not growing and then it suddenly did? I don't know. But anyway, we see some koi fish in the air. I wasn't, I was very uncertain about this. I didn't quite understand it that well, but they seem to be spirit goldfish maybe? Or koi fish by the looks of it. Kazui and Kanchan's room. Uh, World of the Living Karakura Town, block one. Thank you for playing with Kazui today as well, Kanchan. Is she saying that in her head? I think she is. Yep, he's sleeping properly. And so is Khan, maybe. And then he's jumping out the window. Hey, wait, wait, stop. Uh, what? Don't what me. You just got in trouble yesterday. You need to behave and go. This is what I mean. Kazui just doesn't behave. But I promised that I'd go today. You also promised your mom that you'd actually sleep. Which one's more important? The promise I made first. That's what I mean. What's up with this kid? He's so hard to handle. Fine, I don't care anymore. You don't have to come conch. <laughs> this is an interesting thing as well. He can turn Shinigami at will. Unlike Ichigo who has like a Shinigami pass. And I want to understand why he's able to do this. One of the many mysteries that Kubo just keeps leaving us. Which makes me seem like there's going to be more content in the future. I mean it has to right? Okay he falls down on the koi fish. Wait I'm coming to... Two koi fish catch them. It's like he knew that the koi fish were coming, which is even stranger. That's why I'm thinking it's something to do with his ability, surely. You could have just said you didn't notice I left because you were sleeping. Oh crap, I should have thought of that. Okay. So again, good good comedy, good comedy. Here's a spirit. Sub sub, you uncle, I came to play. His cry doesn't suit him at all. Uh-huh, Kazui. You were late, I was lonely, and I said this yesterday, but don't call me uncle. I'm fifty. A man that's lying about his age and whose cry doesn't seem to... Okay, why would you... As a go... Okay, sure, why not? I'm not lying. Wait, what is a talking stuffed animal? And one more thing I'm sorry about. I don't think I can come tomorrow. No way, I'll be lonely. Yeah, that's why. I'll take you to a place where you won't be lonely today. So he's, he's not performing a concert, which is really weird because this is supposed to be after the last chapter. So he should have a Zonpakuto to perform a concert. A shrine. 
No, next to it. We go in from here. And then there's a little shrine thing there. Whoa, what's this? It's scary. Was this your first time seeing it, Khan? It's not scary, look. You stand here and clap three times. I mean, they do that at shrines as well, I think. Yeah, it's like one of the rituals. I'll do a description like this in the future. But this is the first time. We've only seen something like this is when Rukia first appeared in chapter one. And at the very end where Ichika appears at the very last chapter. What this, because this isn't a Senkaimon. It looks almost like Gargantarish. Um, but it's a different way of summoning. And we have never seen the whole at its maximum size. We've only ever seen Ichika and Rukia do it and it's always been like really pea-sized just as it's closing so I don't know if this is normal because it looks like a Garganta with teeth which is really weird but again I, I will have to just wait and see I suppose uh see inside here it's all right everyone's there bleach no breaths from hell soul funeral festival a barai so this is now the ceremony, and I feel like this is the important bit of the chapter that's about to happen right now. And this is where we're going to learn a lot of lore, which is very important to pick uh, pick part uh, to talk about the hell, because obviously hell is obviously prevalent in this chapter. Apparently, the way of words is important, so let's focus. It's a ritual that takes place 12 years after the funeral of a captain that died in battle. It's my first time hearing of it, this is Ichigo. I hadn't heard of it until this year either. After all, captains rarely die in battle. We did the previous Captain Commander's ritual the other day. Then we did Captain Unohana's. And today's ritual is for Captain Ukitake. What kind of ritual is it? We capture a hollow in the world of the living and kill it in front of their grave. What the heck? Is that fine by the standards of the Soul Society? Well, it's an old custom. Hey, you guys have seen Atau. This vice captain is playing with animals in the yard. That guy, even though I've said that today is an important day. Atau. I've got a message for you Cap from Captain Kurtsuji. It's fine, I just heard just now. Oh, okay. So, at the moment, I'm very confused. One, about why you need a random ass hollow to kill in front of a grave. So, does that mean... Again, we'll find out. But at the moment, I'm questioning, is Yamamoto and Unahana in hell? And what does this ritual do? Unless I'm missing something very greatly here. We just know it's a ritual that they've already had. But what does this ritual supposed to... What, what's it supposed to do? But anyway, we'll find out. Because I'm very, very interested. Okay, captains are the only ones that attend the ritual. And vice captains are to capture a hollow for preparations. But why specifically? That seems to be... It looks like a monster from hell because that's not a hollow. It's a skeleton looking figure with bones. So that looks like it's from hell. And it looks like it's in the middle of the vice captains because it would be a bit weird if like the vice captains that are looking forward don't see it. So this is right in the middle of that like little circle that they've got, it seems. And it just, just appeared. What's that? Why hasn't anyone noticed it? Then it goes, yeah, because of how close it is to Ichigo and Renji here. It goes for a swing at Renji. Father, Ichigo, why are smack? Ichigo sees it very quickly, is able to counteract it, slaps it with your sword. What's that? A hollow? No way. Why didn't anyone notice it? And then there's more. And they have these hot they have these like circles on them. So these are hell beans. Ichiko goes up to Renji. You idiot, why are you here? I'm sorry, father, I'm sorry. Ikaku does quick work as Ikaku does. These guys don't have a Riatsu. They're not ordinary hollows. They're not hollows, mate. We'll strike them all at once, spread out, but the hollows used for the ritual are supposed to be captured alive. This isn't the time to be saying that we can capture hollows after we take these guys out. He does. That's actually very interesting, since as he's deaf. I guess he can't call out his Zanpakuto because he can't probably speak, because deaf people can't really speak very well. So he writes it on his sword, which is very interesting. That's pretty cool. And it turns into like some origami that it, imagine like Sai from Naruto, where like he, he writes on scrolls and then like manifests those drawings or words so it seems like does he write on this piece of paper what it is he's summoning because they come out of the pieces of paper and they literally just like disintegrate one of these beings which is pretty raw i'm not gonna lie i don't know if it does anything to it i don't know if it kills them this girl comes out of nowhere runs up the spine completely fucks it up by the looks of it then she goes for the other two this was interesting so she's got like this bear thing i don't know she doesn't have a sword by the looks of it i can't seem to see a sword on her which tells me like it, i i don't know why i'm getting like urahara uh Yudawichi vibes because one she's got blonde hair by the looks of it the skin again it's i don't know if it's natural or if it's yaru look it's it, it's difficult 
But if it is Yoda Witch's kid, this would make sense to a certain degree because, again, it's you can use a form of Shunko in a certain way, uh, just like how she did with like the cat form uh, that Yoda Witch did. Again, new things to explore, new things for me to really delve into uh, during the review. Um, but yeah, she goes for the head, and if the head wasn't enough, went for genitals too because why not? Because Kubo's like, fuck it, it's my manga. If I want to do something edgy like that, I'll do it. This is what I liked the most. Akon, a person we don't don't see do anything within the series. My man is playing with some chemicals. I don't know what he put on the ground, but by the time, I don't know what the counting was. I don't know if this is a Zompok toe. It probably isn't because this is just looks like just some chemicals they pop may maybe made. Keto chemicals, I don't know. But this is really cool. Instantly disintegrates him, which is really cool. Another one comes seven times. Um, this is really fascinating actually because so he's hit this hellbird, by the looks of it, seven times, making it weigh a fuck ton by seven times its weight. We hadn't seen it, and nor had the beast noticed it, which is really good feats for, for Izuru compared to what we've seen him before. Izuru looks really cool here. Yeah, his arm's still black, so he hasn't he hasn't repaired his arm. Which, again, Orihime exists, mate. Glad. They sh uh, they're strange hollows, but it looks like we got things under control. I'm heading over to you're in for a scolding once we get back, Ichika. <laughs> then the gates of hell chains attach onto Renji. So lonely. Don't be in such a hurry, Abari Renji. I wanted to see your face on a auspicious, a, 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 a auspicious day. Why I can't read. So I went out of my way to come here. You are. Zaylaporo Gransu. What? It's just you? Uh, I see. I wanted to see your face, but it's, this is just an. I said I wanted to see your face, but that was just an adulsion? I don't see that scrawny Quincy. Or you. And that mad scientist. I would have loved to have seen that. And that mad scientist isn't here either. If I wasn't a person of a small caliber, I would have taken this as an insult. What's with your appearance? Are you dead? Hmm. This. That's right, I have fallen to hell. So this is very specific. The way, I, I've seen this in the translations quite a lot, the fallen to hell quotation. There clearly is a, a deeper meaning or mythology to that. What do you mean? Hell is nice. You are unleashed from the yoke of a hollow and your hole is moved outside of your body. So it's not a halo. So, oh, so there's monsters that we've seen, the hole is moved outside the body which is interesting. And your hole is moved outside your body, which if you don't know about Xylopro, is that his hollow hole was in his glands, his penis. Um, so I would imagine why he's very happy about that. <laughs> Both hatred and pain, like tears, flow outside of your brain. Oh, what is that thing? It's scared. Uh, what's wrong? Answer me, Abari Renji. I'm asking you what that thing is. Now, I'll start things off by killing your daughter. So we didn't need to ask, he already knew. So is he saying he's all seen? So you're omnipotent? So he spams a bunch of Hell's Chains. Renji is like dipping, which is interesting because I said like why he's already fought obviously Xylopro before, so he should be able to like kill him, right? Because unless Hell works differently, and maybe he knows that. Father, no, father. Okay, so Ichigo comes, cuts the chains of Hell. Very cool panel. Enjoy it. I know a lot of the questions are gonna be about Ichigo Zanpakuto. Why is it in that form? Um, there's some really cool, interesting theories going around. I am gonna save this for the review. If any of you guys want to write in the comment section down below of what you guys think this is and why this is shaped the way it is, that'd be really cool. And, you know, obviously you'll have a flex for if we ever find out why. But I, I will go again deeper into the review of what my thoughts on it is. I'm just, you know, going to read this and enjoy it before thinking too much into it. Go, Renji, take Ichika-san to a safe place. You're in my way. Ki oh, so Zalapro san you're in my way. Killing you after all this time wouldn't marry me anything, but... I'll kill you, Kurosaki Ichigo. Who the hell are you? Because they never met. They never fought each other. So now we're back at the Soul Society. Now, this is interesting. We see all the captains and Mayori's horn just in front of, well, behind Kenpachi, I guess you could say. Then this blood comes out of nowhere. It looks like it's raining. The blood is raining from the, from the, from the air. Okay. Everyone's kind of like, what is this? What? Is, oh, okay. Yeah, thanks for that, Soifan. It's not Reishi. Is it not re not a Reishi that wouldn't return to the atmosphere? Wait, what is this? Is it not a Reishi that won't return to the atmosphere? Kuraku gives it a, s a swing. 
It sizzles the blade. This is a will of wisp from hell. A will o wisp. A will o wisp from hell. A will o wisp. Why is there something like that here? See, I would have thought it was maybe Huggy's uh, reality, but clearly not. Uh, could you all lend your ears to a single superstition? This is where it's going to get important now. It has been spoken about for a long time in the Soul Society, and I believed it to be a superstition as well. There is a word, Ray. We'll call it Ray. Um, spiritual authority. It's a unit of measurement that used to be utilized by the nobles, and it is said to represent the concentration of Riatsu that resides in Riaishi. The concentration of Riatsu that resides in Reishi. The average division member has a ray of a grade 20. So the Riaishi with inside so the Riatsu inside of a Reishi. So the amount of spiritual energy inside of a spiritual body. Got ya. Okay. So the ray has a grade of 20. Vice captains vary between grade 5 and grade 4. And captains consist of a grade 3 and higher. A Soul Reaper's body is made up of Reishi, which we've said. A Soul Reaper's body is made up of Reishi, and when they die, their body turns into Reishi and returns to the Earth of the Soul Society. But people classified as grade 3 and higher cannot do that because their Riatsu concentration is too high. What allows them to return is this uh, ritual Soul Funeral Festival. This is what's taught at the Soul Reaper Academy, and what I I'm about to say is the superstition. Okay, this is interesting. So this is why they do the ritual. So this Riatsu can be reincarnated, I guess, into the soul society, into the environment, so to say. So, okay. But what I'm about to say is the superstition. Actually, Riatsu... So, so this is what they're taught. So is... Okay, so is this fact? We're about to see the superstition actually he says actually in quotations which may maybe tells me that this isn't reality reishi of grade three and higher cannot return to the earth of the soul society no matter what okay so what should we do we can't allow reishi too powerful to remain in the soul society the soul funerals festival's real purpose is something else okay with this ritual deceased captains are and I want people to understand this correctly what Xylopro is saying here sent down to hell is not finishing what Kyoraku is saying here I think that this is a deviation this is a cliffhanger to understand the proper reason because I saw this again in the translations and people were talking to me about it with I didn't know the context this is very interesting this is not the reality of things and this is a miss uh, this is clickbait essentially of what you would call it in YouTube terms this is this is a lie because that would be fucked like if you really think about it it doesn't matter how good of a person you are or how strong you are I mean I mean it doesn't matter like if you say like what Ichigo did if Ichigo died like he'd be sent to hell like it doesn't matter who you are I mean it doesn't discriminate I guess you could say that but then is hell a good or bad place and that is a question but anyway so this text here, this, uh, the Soul Funerals Festival's real purpose is something else. With this ritual, deceased captains are, it's left on a cliffhanger. Zyla Pro, you're lying. Well, you're not lying, but I, I need to know what you were talking about prior to this conversation. Sent to hell. What are you saying? I'm telling the truth. Don't grieve Kurosaki Ichigo. You should know that a price must be paid to gain strength. Souls that have lost a place souls that have lost a place to return to because of their immense power to that they sought are saved by sending them are saved by sending them down to hell this is quote unquote kindness the benevolent soul reapers have their own hands been sending their wait what okay hold on a second hold on hold on hold on hold on this is kindness and unbeknownst to them the benevolent soul reapers have their own hands been sending their comrades down to hell i think there's a lack of interpretation here there's got to be is that true captain kyaku have we really i just realized right now that it might have been true can you not believe but i i i 
I think someone is not telling the full truth, and I'm not sure if it's Kyaku or Xylopro here. Can you not believe it? The fact that I've appeared in front of you all is decisive proof. Balance has been broken. The tremendous Riatsu that was keeping the mouth of hell in check, the tremendous Riatsu that was keeping the mouth of hell in check, was that Kazui? Because of the teeth. The tremendous Riatsu that was keeping the mouth of hell in check, Aizen Tosuke disappeared, and right after you watch Vanish, you guys sent, so after Aizen Tosuke and you watch, you guys sent a tremendous reaction down to hell one after the other, allowing the mouth of hell to be forced open from hell's inside. The founder of Gotei 13, Yamamoto Gemuyusai, the Blade of Death, Unohana Ritsu, and today, you've made an early arrival, Divine Val Ukatake Jishiro. What are you saying? The ritual is still, it's finished. You guys just slaughtered all those ghouls from hell right in front of Ukatake Jishiro. Oh right, because you're supposed to kill a... If you want to kill... If you, if you want to call it a hollow, sure. Sure. If you want to call it a hollow, because that's what the ritual is supposed to be. You're supposed to kill a hollow in front of the grave of the sorry but that has died. But they've killed all of these in front of the Hell's Gate, which is technically where apparently Ukitake is. You've just killed all those ghouls, so they're not hollows, they're ghouls, from Hell, right in front of Ukitake Jishiro. The Soul Reaper badge is lighting up. Now I will return and you guys should think properly. Hell has been nearby. Hell has been nearby. There's no way you haven't noticed. Haven't you ever wondered why the butterflies that guide Soul Reapers have hell in their name? And then the gates of hell close with the hell butterfly right next to it. And one of the eyes of the of the skeletons on the hell's doors are visible. Kazu is following the hell butterflies. Bleach, new breaths from hell, now from the jaws of the hell arc. The story and the story unfolds. You cannot tell me that this is not, and I love how dark it's gotten. You cannot tell me that there is not going to be a sequel. This is this is insane, and there's a lot to think about here. Holy shit! I think someone's telling porcupines. I think something about Shun Tsui's ideology or interpretation of this and Xylopro's interpretation is a completely different. They killed Ghoul. So I think. The question is, if Yamamoto and Unohana are in hell right now, then clearly the ritual may have failed, or they have unironically sent Yamamoto and Unohana's spiritual energy to hell. Seeing as, because if you did it, if you did this 10 years ago with Yamamoto, and again, this is, this is where the discussion part, again, might be for a second video, but where I'm going with this, if Yamamoto died 10 years ago, or 12 years ago, I think they actually said 12 years ago, so this is two years? Two years, oh, so this is two years after. Two years after the last chapter? Maybe. So, considering that Yamamoto died 12 years ago, and the Hell's Gates have just appeared, again, Yamamoto, Ukitake, and Unohana died 10 years ago, why did it take now for Hell's Gates to open? It would have opened quite relatively soon after the Blood War arc, right? But, because they have been sent so much spiritual energy to hell, it decides to open the mouth 12 years later, 10 to 12 years later. Something ain't right there. And I'll leave it off on that. That is, bro, you cannot tell me there's not going to be a Bleach sequel after that. That is insane. The Jaws of Hell arc. There you go. A lot of lore, a lot of exposition. And again, the action was great. I appreciate it. And oh, wow. Please, Shueisha, please. Do not take this away from us. We need this. Kubo wanted to do this Hell Arc justice. And again, if Xylopro is down there, then your Aranyero is in there. Is Okura in there? This is, again, another question. All, people like Okura and Yami. Did Yami die by a Zonpokuto? I mean, technically, no. He just died. So I'm questioning, are these people that die by Zonpokuto in terms of for the Uranka? We won't know. We'll have to see the context. This is mad. I need to know what your guys' thoughts are in the comment section down below. This is insane. I'm going to do a review. I'm going to take my time with it. And I'm going to make sure I get my stuff correct. So, this is mad. 
Right, I'm going to catch you guys later. You guys, of course, have this fine day being handsome. Please subscribe, please like the video, and please get ready for that review because it really helps me out a lot. I'm going to catch you guys later. You guys, of course, have this fine day being handsome. As always, people, peace out. Bye. 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 Bye.